presented by Sprint. Good to have you here. This is 2K Sports, and the NBA season is starting to take shape. Out in San Antonio, the Spurs have the lead against Dallas. Tremendous defensive effort out there. They're challenging every shot, sending him into the third row. Rudy Gay getting it done early. At the break, 11 points. He's also contributed on the glass. And for the Mavericks, they're still gutting it out. They've played themselves right to the bubble, sitting in eighth place in the conference standings. Let's check out what's on tap around the league. It'll be the Heat out at American Airlines Arena against the Cavaliers. Rivalry games are always a blast, and this fans are luck for that one. That one gets started at 8 Eastern. Looking at action around the NBA. Boston leading against the Bobcats at Time Warner Cable Arena, about midway through the third out there. That's it for now. Thanks for stopping in with us. It's time to head back to Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, who are all ready with the call on the second half. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And we welcome you back to the Alamo City of San Antonio, Texas. And we're seeing the Mavericks unable to defend against Rudy Gay. He has 11 points. He's picked up six points from behind the arc. Now his outside stroke has looked really good today. Here's who Rick Carlisle is starting the second half with. Richardson, Richardson good. And the Spurs with possession. It's a five-point game. DeRozan passes to Irving. For San Antonio, they've made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. And that one misses. Two shots. And he can't hit the second. Mavericks trailed by five. He feeds it to Richardson. Shoots the three. The shot is off. San Antonio's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Out to DeRozan. From deep. Shot's good. DeRozan's got 10. And he's the type of player who, you know, when he gets it going, is almost impossible to cool down. Coaches will call a timeout sometimes just to take away some of the momentum that he provides for that play. And there's something else on his resume that can't be overlooked. Just how many times he's taken over at the end of close games and carry his team to the win. Some guys will try to overpower you at the rim, but he likes to elude you and trick you. He's got quickness and a soft touch. Here's Murray, averaging 13 points a contest. And that one's good by game. Mavericks trailed by seven. Pass to Richardson. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Here's Smith. A putback throws it down with the quick putback jam. Guys, he shot a very good percentage today, and they need it. There's the pick to the inside. A steal. the Spurs leading by five. Doncic, he's covered by Murray. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. He has seven. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. I need that. The way shaping up, guys. Well, let's uh, take a moment here to check it out. Now that the mid-season grind is well underway, we'll take a look at the Mavericks. Right now, they've been able to gather the eighth-best record in the conference as the latter part of the season approaches. And, of course, San Antonio, three games behind. I think for the Mavericks, unfortunately, mediocre is a word we've often heard used to describe their overall performance this season. Yeah, I expected them to be a few runs up the ladder from where they are. That drive, that motivation has been sorely lacking. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. 
Boy, even though he missed, you can't give them that kind of a look very often. Yeah, they're lucky that they didn't get burned on that one. White launches a three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Smith's got his third rebound on the night. Now still a great start to the half after hitting their first three, even before that miss. White dishes two to Rosen. And it's off from three-point range. Mavericks trailed by five. Richardson kicks to Smith. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Here's Doncic. DeRozan with the rebound. San Antonio's gone out Santa lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. 7 of 17. Richardson cover. Tries to keep it alive. Mavericks making a switch here. This is the White. White gets the screen from Earth. White with it. Now guarded by Collie Stein. Out of bounds. Dallas takes possession. While there's a break, let's take a look at this past month's assist leaders among small forwards in the NBA. And you look at DeRozan, an uncommonly gifted passer, leading the league in assists. He sees the whole court extremely well, and from the wing, it's that vision that enables him to penetrate and find the open man, even in a very crowded area. The drive, draw, and dish. I call that the 3D element. Is his bread and butter. I mean, a lot of young small forwards out there can learn a thing or two from watching this guy do his work. San Antonio leading by three. Murray the pass to get. Backs him down. Fades away. The shot misses. Well, the shot was there for him, and he had to take it. I don't care if he didn't convert. He's got to take that every time. Doncic. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. And it's now only a one-point Spurs lead. Now Murray. Here's DeRozan. Connects on the 17 footer. DeRozan's got 12 in the game. Back guard away. To tie. Kept alive. Tries again. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Kevin, we're not too far along in the basketball season right now, so let's see how the Mavericks have done so far. Third and fewest turnovers per game. 11th in steals. And as far as block shots go, not a strong shoot for this team. Only top 20 in the league. They really don't do a good job of defending the paint. And I love that number from third and fewest turnovers per game because that's a sign of a well-coached team. Very disciplined. They share the basketball. Their spacing is good. And they've got a good plan of attack every game. Uh, so the players know where each other is, and that just allows for much better offensive execution. So they take the lead. Hardaway has got his first basket. Their interior defense has been dismal. Yeah, and unfortunately, their offense in the paint hasn't been a whole lot better. And it's Johnson penetrating. He passes it to Dang, and that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. And a quick look now at how San Antonio's schedule is shaping up. They can look forward to the Oracle Arena after this game to match up against Golden State. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Some really good games going on. How about that Denver one? That, that's, that's an interesting game. Dallas making a switch here. Well, that was checked in. They ran that inbound play perfectly there to get the quick hitter. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Spurs. Boy, their passing has been picturesque. A thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. And they continue to knock down the long-range three-point shot as well. Rebound by Dang. The Spurs have gone five and nine on field goal. Take some tough time. Johnson dishes to Mills. Second chance effort, and Dang gets it to go. Now it's a three-point Spurs lead. Well, they certainly didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Well, and that's important because this game, I think, is going to be decided by who controls the paint in crunch time. That's pretty much been the norm for them, getting their points off assists and great ball movement. Nice rhythm and flow for this team. Tremendous communication and alertness. Johnson for three. The shot no good. The Mavericks have gone better than 53% from the floor since halftime. Shooting 8 of 15. 
151 left to play in the third. Spurs have gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. And now Reddick pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Mavericks. Their high energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ballgame. And I'll tell you, the other thing that's been a factor is the transition. They're yeah. scoring a lot of points on the fast break. Great job of utilizing that screen and finding space to knock down the jump. Good basketball. Here's Doncic. It's good from long range. He's got 11. What are they thinking leaving him with all that space out there? Do they not know? Have they not heard? That this guy is unbelievable. That's a layup for him. Johnson outside. Mills. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And Reddick kicks to Hardaway. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Hardaway has got six in the quarter. Boy, great job of attacking on the break. Yeah, it sure was. He made a beeline for the bucket as soon as they got the ball. Right away, straight to the rim. Johnson can't hit. Mavericks leading by five. He kicks to Reddick. 27 seconds left here in the third quarter. Mavericks making a switch here. That's tipped. Stolen by Walker. With the lead pass. Talk about putting something extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, Clark, and he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Still, I mean, it's startling that he'd even try that right now. The Maverick shooting in the third quarter has been growing up around 58%. Number 51. He's covered by Gay. Mm, tough break for the defense. He took the heat and drew the whistle. Yep, but when you get there late, that's what happens. The Mavericks getting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. He hits both from the strike. Boy, his free throw shooting, just another reason. He's such a good all-around player. Back to DeRozan. With one on the clock. No good on the buzzer beater. And a great show through three quarters. Yes. Tune in next Sunday, January 10th. The Dallas Mavericks take on Bradley Beal of the Washington Wizards. Live from Verizon Center. You don't miss it. We welcome you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. Spurs trail by five. We've got White. Rudy Gay is out there with Johnson. And it's DeRozan. And it's Walker in a shooting guard. And that's who's in the game for the Spurs. Well, guys, with the style of defense he plays, an opponent better make sure every pass is a smart one if he's around. Because if it's not, it'll be in his hands before you know it, heading the other way for an easy lay-in. And Steve, even more than that, this is what I think of when I think of him. Late in the fourth quarter, time winding down. They've got one shot to win the game. He's your man. He's the guy I'm looking for to make it happen. And DeRozan. Here we go. And he knows that's going to be goaltending, guys. So that's a free basket right there. Took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on it. Dallas making a switch here. to five on the shot clock. Here's Doncic. Misses the three, and he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't capitalize. And White kicks to Gay. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. He had a couple in the first, but so far he's been unable to get uncorked here. The feed to Powell. And that one is stuffed right through. Solid on the one-hand throw down there. You know, Clark, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Yep. Yeah, you got, you got that right, Kevin. He's such a reliable finisher. Another miss by Gay. Dallas leading by four. And White with the block. 
It's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. Let's see what the Dallas Mavericks have coming up. They've got the Wizards ahead of them for the next game. It's in Washington. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. Richardson, he's checked in for the Mavericks. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. And a fast break now for the Spurs. Uses both hands. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. And it's sent back by Udo. DeRozan again, Tardaway to tie it up. And the layup is good. And that makes it a tie ball game. A little touch of class there, guys. The end of that play with the finger roll. It's Richardson on the wing. Here's the three. Richardson missing again. He's not exactly striking him from deep. He had one three ball in the first half. Still bagels in the second. DeRozan with it. Now guarded by Powell. DeRozan with it. How on him. That puts them in the lead. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Well, their plan of attack has been pretty clear to see. You get the ball inside and just take it strong to the hoop. Be dominant in the lane. Well, the defense has been very slow to adjust. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. And out of bounds as the Spurs gain possession. Johnson is checked in for San Antonio. San Antonio's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Gay outside. Gay gets a screen for Myrtle. Backing him down. Somehow he throws the tight D and gets the lead. Now it's a four point Spurs lead. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lead off the basket so far. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Kevin, over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Rick Carlisle said to his team. With his team struggling from three-point territory, he told them to start looking for more high-quality shots inside the paint. We're forcing too many threes, he said. Stop with the bombs and work it inside. Back to Hardaway. Shot to stop the run. No good. Good D by Johnson. Spurs leading by four. Pass to Murray. It's rebounded by Powell. The Mavericks shooting 43% from the floor. Looking to get back on track here. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious. The defense not going to allow many easy layups. It's going to make you earn it from the line. Hardaway hits them both. I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second half, despite trailing in this game. Well, you know, that's when you need to be most aggressive when you're down. Another good job of drawing contact and getting to the line. Murray, no good. Gone two of five from the floor. Here's Gauchic. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Wow, it's been a vanishing act for him down the stretch. He's made only one shot in four tries here. White. Josh Richardson. That's his third personal foul. Second team foul. Here's White. Richardson covered. White the pass to Irving. Six feet out. Stolen away. Well, that was very sloppy. Untidy on that pass. It has to be a lot sharper than that. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. White with it. Now defended by Richardson. And that one's good by game. Now they're not showing too much respect for him defensively, are they? Mavericks trailed by three. Here's Gotchich. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. 
Oh, oh, oh. The rapid fire threes coming from everywhere. I thought it might be a little imprudent to try to get those points right back, but it worked. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. The short rest very important, and one of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team while having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade. Replenish your energy for the late game push. And refocus, Kevin. You got to take care of your body. And I think we ought to drink some Gatorade here, too. I thought I noticed some slip ups here the last yeah. uh, <laughs> couple minutes from, from your end on the play by play. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's an aggressive play trying to get that rebound. Maybe a little too aggressive. And it was totally unnecessary, Steve. He was in no position to get to that ball. He should have just conceded. Some nice passing here by Dallas. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. San Antonio's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here on the fourth. Murray, the pass to Gay. Now the dish to DeRozan. And the bucket counts. And he's on his way to the free throw line. Fighting in the three-point play. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Yeah, that's five of their last six baskets inside the lane. They have really established themselves inside. Smith checked in for Dallas. Kicks to Richardson. He dishes it to Powell. Puts up a three. Rebounded by the Spurs. Rosen's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Boy, you've got to be kidding me. Where's that come from? Now that's using some serious imagination. Man, that was ridiculous. Powell is just the Smith. And there's the pass to Richardson. Here's Tarzinius. Those three pointers off the mark. No, they're trying to come back here, but you've got to get a better look at the basket to get it done. DeRozan. Another miss by DeRozan. Mavericks trailed by five. And here we go. The Mavericks in a fast break. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw. for three and that one's good boy he quieted the crowd with that big shot that's a big one yeah the crowd's been hoping for something to cheer for but nothing murray the pass to DeRozan, and again it's the spurs from deep i think this team needs to get him the ball every chance they get i mean he's seven for eight now in the fourth quarter guys. shot off the pit off the left rim San Antonio's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. There's a screen. Puts the lead pass in front of him. And stolen by Richardson. Here's the break. Here's Smith. And the defense is in position. They whistle a blocking foul, and he'll go to the line. Smith. No slowing him down. Just incredible numbers for Smith. 12 points and two steals. This game is all about him right now. He is in full domination mode, guys. They really had to have those free throws. It's down to a one-possession lead. We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, you got the lead. Burn some clock here. Smart move. Yep. DeRozan passes to Murray. Misses the train. Boy, he has been struggling mightily in this quarter, guys. True. He really seems to have tightened up a bit for whatever reason. He looks tight. 
some great passing from him. Yeah, it makes it tough for the defense to chase that ball around when it moves that crisply all over the court. Yeah, it sure does, Clark. And look at the assist totals. They're piling up. I mean, this is it's been a, a nice game execution-wise for this club. DeRozan with it. Okay, here's screen on Smith. And here's DeRozan. Oh, it's off the mark. And we're going to overtime. Well, if you love great competition and neck-to-neck -neck basketball action, this one has been a great one. Overtime number one. Getting going right now. So Dallas will get the first possession. And so they have the first opportunity on offense right here as we begin overtime. Courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineup for us now in overtime. On the floor for Dallas. Down low. To take the lead. Richardson. He's covered by Murray. For three. Smith. Rebounded by the Spurs. Okay, he's got the four rebounds now tonight. Shot from 12. No luck. He had to clear some space for himself to get that rebound. Not easy in there among the big bodies. And there's the call by the official. They'll pop the basket here following the goaltending call. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. And the crowd immediately letting the officials have it after that whistle. A very unpopular call there. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Murray, the pass to her. And he takes that one up and throws it through. The defense just couldn't recover in time. Yeah, but he pretty much went brain neutral on that one, Clark. Yes, you? sir. I like that phrase. Yeah, I don't use that phrase very often, but to me, that's what happened. He uh, shifted the, the brain into neutral. Yes, he did. <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> and then Smith with the dunk. Right back to the basics there, using the one-hand slam for that. Doesn't he make the basics a pretty exception? Yeah, he does. They look sweet when he does them. Well, he should stay with those basics in a tight ball game because we've got one here tonight. We play just over a minute here in OT. Doncic, he's covered by Murray. Out to Smith. Offensive rebound, Doncic. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. At the line of the Mavericks, On the free throw, no good. And that'll be Dallas as it goes out of bounds. Mavericks retain possession. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. Spurs trail by four. And DeRozan. Here we go. That was an excellent burst to the hoop for that throwdown. I mean, he's a laser beam guy. Fast as life. Shooting for San Antonio. DeMar DeRozan. That's good from DeRozan. Well, overtime basketball. A minute and a half played so far. Smith outside. Bangs on the trifecta. Smith's got 19 points. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They gotta get more intense. And DeRozan, here we go. On the game. No good. He's been the guy on the boards today, no question. Steve, you're all over it. I mean, his numbers back it up. He's been working extremely hard out there. That is good. Now it's a six-point Maverick lead. Boy, that was a rugged screen set there, fellas, and the defense didn't even try to go through that. Maverick shooting at 46%, making some buckets. And stolen by Gay. Pass to White. 
For the three, gets it to go. We're in overtime if you just joined us. Two and a half minutes through it. Hook loose and stolen by Murray. Jumps up. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. Big call, Kevin. He just didn't get there quick enough, and that's a tough break. Gotcha. He's covered by Murray. Two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Two he hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Now a semi-productive trip to the line in the end, but we'll see how costly that miss is. Three from Gay. Can't get it to go. I tell you what, you can shake your confidence missing wide open shots like that. Here's Smith, and a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Smith moved, and so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. And the Spurs making a change here. Who's checked in, so he goes two for two at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. Nice work there. Steps up, knocks him down, and makes it a two-possession game. Walker gets a screen from Gay, and Walker picks to Gay. The Mavericks in a fast break. Powell versus to Richardson. Feeds to Powell. Shot from 12. That's good on the jump shot. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's yeah. way too easy. It's going to take something special, maybe a miracle, for them to come back right now. How about a little luck? Tell you what, he's had an excellent game, and they're going to have to continue to rely on him if they're going to come back. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Second one is good. We both at the line, and it's a five-point game. And uh, San Antonio is shooting 51% from the field. They'll take that. DeRozan passes to Erdo. Kicks it out to Gay. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Nails it! And he has brought them to within two points. And that is the shot of the game. Well, he's got the guts and courage to take it and the skill to make it. White against Richardson. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Yeah, no question the right call at this point. You can't let them just dribble it out. That's right. I mean, you've got to send them to the line and hope for a few misses. And so he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. They're trailing by four. Fifteen seconds left to play in OT, and this battle continuing. It's three! And a sensational bucket to bring them within one. And that bucket ignites the crowd. Crucial bucket there. And you hear it in their reaction. You can feel the energy throughout this building right now. What a huge shot. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a three-point game. That last free throw was critical. Their only choice now is to go for the three to tie. And DeRozan kicks to Gay. He feeds it to White. Can't get the three to fall. And they go to the intentional foul. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And so both free throws are good, and it's a five-point game. That may be the knockout blow. 